Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Creative IT Resources. We're going to do a tutorial on installing SQL Server 2012 Standard Edition on Windows Server 2008 R2. This particular instance of Windows Server has Active Directory installed and so that way we're doing the installation on domain. This all is on this one environment so a little bit of a no-no to combine Active Directory with SQL Server uh, without separating rules. Uh, we'll get an error about that down the road, however we'll just acknowledge it to move on. As some prerequisites that I did before the video was creating uh, service accounts for SQL Server. Since this is a domain, we're going to create uh, domain service accounts. Likewise, if you were on a non-domain, you would use local accounts. Local accounts do have a little bit more privilege, so it's a little bit more of a security risk. So it's best practice to use domain service accounts. These accounts, I've created five of them, however I have four highlighted here. We're going to install basically four major components of SQL Server, and that is the obvious, the database engine, then the other three would be integration services, analysis services, and reporting services. All four of those services are going to have their, their own individual domain service account. I created a fifth service account for job agent. That one we'll talk about a little bit more down the road, but we essentially we need these five service accounts. There's the fifth one. Let's go into the installation. Uh, as soon as you start with your DVD, you get this and this dialog. Here's a lot of information, documentation that you can look at if SQL Server is new to you. I certainly would recommend spending a little time there, just browse it around, become familiar with terms, uh, things of that nature. If a particular element is new to you or you need to brush up on, certainly here there's additional information. Let's go right into the installation. Four options for the installation. We're going to select the first one. We'll come back to that in a second. Second one here is creating a failover cluster. So that's a group of SQL servers, basically for load balancing or redundancy. Then the third one is for adding an additional node to that cluster. So if we want to add an additional SQL server, then we could do that. Then the last one is an upgrade to a, an existing SQL server which we're obviously not going to do. We don't care about the clusters right now, that's beyond the scope of this installation or this tutorial. Let's go right into the standalone installation and uh, we'll begin from there. Alright, it's support rules. Let's take a look at the details on those. These should pass without, a, without any hiccups. Good, those pass just fine. Product key, you could do an evaluation for 180 days. Accept the license terms. Here we can add the installation of Service Pack 1, which will automatically be downloaded. 